Gangsterism on the decline. A fall in gangsterism. The number of gangsters arrested has fallen from about 1,000 per year in 2012 and 2013 to about 700 per year in 2018 and 2019. The figures in 2020 were even lower due to COVID-19 movement restrictions. In addition, the Criminal Law Temporary Provision Act (CLTPA) allows for detention without trial, and 95 people are currently being still being held under the Act for secret society activities. The number of gang members detained under the CLTPA has also plummeted from about 200 in 2010 to about 100 in 2020. This indicates that the、uh, gangsterism is under is on the decline. With the problem gradually getting under control, gangsterism still not gone. However, this does not mean that we can rest on our laurels. While secret societies have shrunk in size, they still have not disappeared. As recent as 2010, 19-year-old Darren Ng was slashed by gangsters in、uh, downtown East. The 12 youths who attacked Darren, as well as Darren's friends, were found to be members of secret societies. In December 2020 alone, there were several incidents involving rioting with deadly weapons that resulted in serious injuries, with 151 people arrested for their secret society ties. Furthermore, secret societies are constantly evolving and posing new law and order threats and security threats. Secret societies are now changing their operations to alter public perception of themselves, with some gangsters acting as runners of overseas remote gambling portals, operators of online scams. And club enforcers for gang-owned night spots. Singapore's situation. Singapore's secret societies tend to collaborate with each other, with even rival gangs agreeing to jointly run brothels, pubs, and loan shark activities. Singapore's secret societies also engage in unsophisticated traditional vice activities, such as prostitution, drug peddling, illegal betting, and petty scams. This is in contrast to、um, in overseas organized crime syndicates that mostly conduct transnational crimes like arms smuggling, human trafficking, and manufacture of illicit drugs instead. Measures used to tackle gangsterism, laws like the aforementioned CLTPA, empower the police to address the issue of gangsterism. The police also cooperates with the Ministry of Social and Family Development, the Ministry of Education. And the Singapore Police Service to develop and conduct preventive and rehabilitative programs. Such programs include、uh, anti-gang talks at schools, the reformative training program, the Singapore's、uh, Boys' Home, counselling for at-risk youth, and teaching parents how to spot warning signs of gangsterism. Youth offenders will also be placed under the compulsory enhanced streetwise program before their court cases are heard. Under the program, the youths must report regularly to the secret societies branch of the criminal investigation department, have their work or school attendance monitored, and are prohibited from going to popular secret society meeting places. Those who successfully complete the program will not be prosecuted for their crimes, and will instead receive a stern warning. More than 1,700 inmates have participated in the Singapore Prison Service Gang Renunciation Program as of December 2019.